The trend right now is all raw and organic foods. But are they the right choice for your pet? Are organic foods better for your pet? The answer is no. AFCO defines organic as the way foods are grown, harvested, and processed. There's no regulatory body about organic foods. And they've shown no beneficial effect to the pets being fed organic-only foods. This is a market-driven term, and a lot of people, unfortunately, are susceptible to it. What is a raw food diet? Raw food diets are any diet that is not cooked or sent through a processing plant so that it can be cooked, decontaminated, and packaged as such. They have raw meats. People will get these at grocery stores and make home-cooked preparations. There's also raw food diets that are freeze-dried. There's also raw food diets that are simply frozen and then you thaw them out. So the important thing is to remember that raw food diets come in all shapes and sizes and different forms, but the most important thing to remember is they are not sent through a processing facility so that they are decontaminated and some parts rendered or removed fat consistencies and then packaged as such. A lot of people believe raw food diets are better than cooked diets for a variety of reasons. Some people feel that it helps correct one particular medical condition. Other people feel that the proteins and carbohydrates are more available to the dog. Uh, other people feel that when you cook diets, it destroys a lot of the nutrients that are in the diet. Well, here's the truth. There are no studies that actually prove that raw food diets are any better for your dog or cat than cooked diets. In fact, there's a lot of studies that basically show that a lot of these diets can be dangerous and unhealthy. If your cat or dog is young or old or debilitated or has a chronic illness, Raw foods can be especially dangerous because now along with battling that chronic illness or being a little geriatric or pediatric, now they have to fight those organisms that are in raw food. About 20 to 25% of chicken carcasses that are harvested for this purpose actually contain salmonella. There's actually a couple studies that I read recently about two kitties who unfortunately passed away because they were so infected with salmonella and it was directly attributable to the raw food diet. In one of our episodes, we got a chance to talk about AFCO food labels, which simply is a stamp on the side of the food that indicates that it has been approved by the federation that oversees food products for pets. So do a lot of these raw foods have that stamp? And the answer is no. So if you're considering feeding an organic or raw food diet, make sure you have a conversation with your veterinarian. You're watching The Pet Collective Cares. Want to see more of Ask a Vet? Then don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.